after the Maryland win over GW. We're here with Christy Winter Scott. You called the game tonight. What did you see that, that made Maryland go in the end? It was all about their defense in the second half. That changed everything for Maryland in terms of their momentum. Mm -hmm. They didn't really have that same kind of consistent effort on the defensive end in the first half. But as soon as they came out in that second half, right. out of the locker room, you could tell there was a sense of purpose on the defensive end. They right. got the stops necessary. Yeah. They got the pace necessary they did. to create that lead. And that's what they held on to for the win. The speed of Fats Russell in, in real life is amazing. Is it as, as cool to you to watch him go like that? Well, he is he's tremendous. At 5'11 yeah. and so low to the ground, you cannot get in front of him in time. And yeah. while we're talking about his speed, it was yeah. his three-point shot that did yeah. GW in. So, I mean, he just did so many amazing things. Yeah. And whether or not he was scoring the ball or not, he was getting two feet in the paint yeah. with the basketball, creating the defensive to attention to be on him so he could kick out and create for right. his teammates. And I thought that was really impressive to watch as well. So if he wasn't scoring, he was setting up his teammates in that great way to score. Yeah, and if they could have made more than a couple threes, it would have been a much different story. Uh, Q comes in as a boy. He's not really a wide body, but my goodness, he's efficient down there. Oh, he was absolutely tremendous inside. I mean, what a presence. And it wasn't just about his scoring either, right? Mm -hmm. It was about his rebounding ability, his ability to block shots, his ability to get those deflections inside. But I think it, he wasn't getting the touches initially in that first half, right? Yeah. They had the two-man game going, mm -hmm. the pick-and-roll action. He wasn't getting the touch off of that. And it credit GW's defense. Mm -hmm. But in the second half, he was getting to the offensive boards to create his own own touches and that's what we were saying on the broadcast yeah. is that sometimes you don't have to rely on somebody to give you the ball you can go get it and I think that made a huge difference in his production on the offensive end. True. Network solutions, managed IT, and technical support. Viner Forgates makes your company work. Solutions to protect your business from WatchGuard including firewalls and endpoint protection. Protect your company and Make your company work with solutions from Viner Forgates. And then Ricky Lindo to wrap this up. He was as close to fantastic as you can be for an ex -terp. And the crowd actually is applauding for one of the few times ever <laughs> applauding a visiting player making a few shots there. Well, I think, you know, once you wear the Maryland uniform, I think there's always some some unified love there. Yeah. So there was a lot of respect for Ricky Lindo Jr. tonight, and his threes were falling. And when you look at his stats when he was here for two seasons yeah. playing for Maryland, you know, he didn't have a gaudy stat line at all, just under two points a game. But his confidence is different. I think he just played in a, in a different way. So sometimes you just need to make a change for yourself and, and find that great fit for your skill set. And I think he's found that at GW. Absolutely. How many Maryland games are you going to call this year? I will be on four games this year, so three more. Okay. Does it still feel like home? Always. <laughs> great answer. All right. We, we will see you after another game uh, throughout this season. Thanks for being on Turp Talk. Thank you. We love our clients, and you'll see that if you trust us at the Jackler Small Group, the big dogs from the small firm. Find us online at bigdogsmallfirm.com.